Hello everyone, how are you today? I am very happy to see you again. As I said before, reading is an important way to expand your vocabulary and to improve your English. So, in today's lesson, we will read a storybook together to practice our listening and reading skills. So, are you ready to begin? Let's read together. and Lucy didn't have very much. They didn't have a television. They didn't have a car. They didn't even have a house. But Angus and Lucy had books. Hundreds of them. They were stacked here and piled there, balanced, propped, and shoved in all kinds of odd places. Books cluttered every corner of their home until one day. Their home could take no more. The books had to go. But things were not the same. Balls slid off the table. Angus couldn't reach the window. And because there was more space in their home, there was a lot more space between them all. Then, one afternoon, something tumbled from Lucy's school bed. What's this? said Dad. A book, Lucy answered. From where? asked Mom. The library. Lucy replied. Mom and Dad looked at the book. They opened it. Dad read the first sentence aloud. Then the second. The children moved closer as Dad turned the page and read on. The light faded. And the family moved inside, that reading all the way. They huddled beside the lamp and listened to the story. That night, as darkness fell upon the town, one small home shone brighter than any other. The next day, as the family yawned their good mornings, they were closer than ever before. With bleary eyes and full hearts, they rode through the clean morning air. Nobody had said a word, but Angus and Lucy knew exactly where they were going. The library! Angus and Lucy didn't have very much, but they had all they would ever need. Thank you for listening to the story. Let's review some vocabulary from the story. 
Repeat after me. Stacked. Stacked. It means to pile something on top of each other. For example, these books are stacked on top of each other. Balanced. Balanced. It means to remain in a position without losing control. For example, this woman is trying to balance books on top of her head. Shoved. Shoved. It means to push something with force. For example, this boy is shoving stuff into his locker. Cluttered. Cluttered. It means very messy. For example, this room is very cluttered. Very good. So, did you like the book? It is a nice story, isn't it? Now, I have some questions for you. First, what three things did the family not have? Right, the family didn't have a TV, a car, and even a house. Second, what did the family enjoy doing together? Yes, the family enjoyed reading books together. Third, where did the family go to get books? Yes, the family went to a library to get books. And the final one. What is the lesson from the story? Yes, I think the lesson from the story is reading can bring a family closer together. So, do you enjoy reading books with your family? I hope you do, because reading can help you to improve your English. And now please share my video with your family and friends so everyone can read together. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next lesson.